trust but verify five dollar starbucks gift card to the first person who puts in the comments the president that said that quote about what you have to put about what what were they talking about which president and what were they talking about trust but verify we had a house on the market and what happened was we had the home inspection and you know home inspectors you're all cool out there I know some of you were on my friends list, but here's what home inspection reports have turned into. Um, contrary to popular belief, they are not a pass-fail situation. The contents of inside of a home inspection report have basically come down to, they take a look at every single item in the house and they basically write, mm, may be a problem with this item, please have professional contractor come out to verify. Roof, maybe, may be near the end of its lifespan. Please have professional licensed contract roofer come out to take a look at the roof. Water heater, please have professional contractor plumber come out to take a look at this water heater. And it's like every single item going down the list in a home inspection report. So basically when a buyer sees this home inspection report, they flip out and they're like, this, the whole house is falling apart, right? When most of it is nothing, but I guess home inspectors just to cover their ass, write down basically anything and every single thing in a home inspection report. So we get these required repairs written over by the buyer that is a page and a half long of every single item possible in a home inspection report. And a lot of it turns out to be absolutely nothing. Okay, moving on from there, we get these home inspection reports back. They go over to the buyer and this happened just yesterday. We had a Home inspection come back, the house has fallen apart, the buyer comes back and asks for $25,000 worth of repairs. Now, having been around for a few transactions, I happen to know that you can almost gut the inside and replace everything inside of a three bedroom, two bath house with modest upgrades for about $25,000. So I call the agent and I say, hey, I could be missing something which possibly could happen. What is it about this inspection report that costs $25,000 that you guys are seeing and you're asking for this credit? Because I called my home seller and I said, hey, home seller, um, right now they're asking for 25,000. My home seller's like, oh no, um, do you think they'll take half? And I'm like, no, 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 no. We're, we're not offering shit at this point because everything that I see in this home inspection report looks like it could cost at a maximum five to six thousand dollars and that's a maximum so i call the agent i say what am i missing and he came up with this story about all these different things that could possibly be wrong he had a friend come over to the house that took a look four thousand dollars for the roof you know five thousand dollars for a new furnace and all this other crap okay now i know what was happening and the buyer's agent knew what was happening the buyer did the inspection and just decided they didn't want the house and they used the inspection report to get out of it. Now, I know that's happening. The buyer's agent knows that's happening. So look, when that happens, they just don't want the house. You close, you know, you close the deal, it's a wrap and you move on. You just let them out because it's not worth fighting. They just don't want the house. So I decided to have my own inspection report and my own inspector, I'm sorry, my own uh, contractor go over to give an estimate for everything that was wrong in the house, every single item in that re inspection report. My contractor comes back and says, Dan, man, that house was a bear. There were some problems with it. Uh, we've got an estimate here for you to fix everything in this report, $3,700. Of course, I forward that over to the buyer's agent. And I say, hey, here's the inspection report. We're willing to do all of this work, $3,700. He's like, well, no, my client has decided that there's too many problems with this house. We don't want it, okay? They just didn't want the house. But here's here's where I get trust but verify. Guys, please, 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 especially if you're a new agent, you don't have a lot of transactions under your belt, do not trust the opinion of someone else's contractor and someone else's, another agent's opinion about how much it's gonna cost to fix some of these items. If you need a contractor, if you need someone, get your own bids, and trust the bid that someone gives you, but verify by getting another bid on some work. Some of these contractors are really not out to do the most upstanding bids out there, or sometimes they don't even want the job because they're so busy, so they give you this crazy bid for a price and it kills the deal. 
So if you guys need a contractor, let me know. I will give you contractors that I use on my personal home. Although I may not wanna do that because if he gets too busy, he can't do my stuff, but I'll do it anyway. Let me know if you guys need a contractor who can do the work, who is trustworthy, who will give you a solid bid. Because just remember, the other side is out to get what they wanna get for the house. Obviously, they'll come up with these big crazy numbers and my client was willing to give them half of the craziest number I've ever seen them come up with just out of the gate. And that's where the experience comes in because a starving agent who maybe doesn't do a lot of deals would be like, oh, you'll do half? And then they give all that money to another agent just because, well, they just wanna get a deal done. Now, we don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. I'm not in that position. I'm fortunate enough to do enough business that we would never do that for our clients, but people out there will. Guys, trust but verify. Trust the contractor you have going out there is doing a good job, but verify by getting at least two to three bids, especially if you get these crazy high numbers for roofing repairs. I can tell you, man, roofers, if you get a if you get a home inspection report that says it needs it may be ending you know, at the end of its life for a new roof, which happens all the time. All home inspectors, for the most part, go out to a, they see a roof that maybe looks a little bit worn and may be ending the end of its roof life, have a professional roofer come out. The pre professional roofer comes out and says, oh yeah, needs a new roof. You know, that'll be $12,000. You have another home inspector come out, doesn't say anything about the roof. Guys, get second opinions on this work. It seems like everyone would know this, but they don't. Protect yourself, protect your clients. Hit me up if you guys need contractors. Happy to share whoever needs it.